Nana Ikua Addo, a German-born Ghanaian model, actress, and film producer, emerged as the second runner-up in Miss Malaika 2003 and later clinched the title of Miss Ghana Germany in 2005. Not only has she been adorned with awards like the Glitz Style Awards and City People Entertainment Awards, but her sartorial choices consistently command attention, making her a beacon of style on red carpets, events, and interviews. Her narrative unfolds from perceived setbacks in acting and film production to her current status as a global fashion icon, a journey laden with determination, hard work, and consistency. Reflecting on her early fame from Miss Malaika, she recounts, I had the chance to work with Foresight TV. I went to Germany, back to school. Then I won Miss Ghana Germany. Then I came back to Ghana. Miss Ghana Germany brought me back to Ghana for some charity works. Ghana was the best place to relocate, so I did. Venturing into movies upon her return to Ghana, she faced challenges in securing prominent acting roles, leading her to pivot to film production with the creation of the acclaimed movie Wannabe. Yet, the production encountered hurdles when Yvonne Nelson, a lead actress, was banned, causing a slowdown and marketing difficulties. From these setbacks, Nana redirected her trajectory towards the fashion industry. Reflecting on this shift, she shares, I have stylists in India, the Philippines, and two main ones in the US. I met them in New York Film School. They built a theme around my fashion and experimented with what I do. Emphasizing her unique approach, she adds, if I'm always looking the same way everybody else is looking, at the end of the day, you're not communicating, you're not pushing barriers. Being a recognized fashion icon globally, Nana attributes her success not just to personal recognition but to a broader vision. The vision of my team and mine is aligned to put African fashion forward, especially Ghanaian fashion. We don't stick to the common, we push boundaries, she explains. Expressing concern for the fashion industry's reliance on imitation, she states, many designers in the country rely on a copy-and-paste mechanism, reducing the leverage Ghanaian designers have on the international market. Discipline, according to Nana, is the linchpin of her success. With prayerful parents and a supportive husband, she emphasizes humility and listening to God as guiding principles. She offers advice, cautioning against excessive alcohol intake and the influence of casual intercourse on the journey to success. In the words of Nana, achieving all this success sure does come with some level of discipline. Through her untold story, she stands as a testament to resilience, pushing boundaries, and elevating not just herself but also the stature of African fashion on the global stage. Thanks for watching please like, comment and share.